All right, so now that I've used my starter, I'm gonna go ahead and feed it. If I hadn't used my starter and I was just giving it a weekly feeding, if I'm keeping my um, starter in the refrigerator and not using it very often, so if I had it in there and I wasn't gonna use it this week, I'd pull it out and I'd only give it a little bit of flour, probably two tablespoons-ish maybe, and an, enough water to even it out. Um, I'd let it grow for a little bit and put it back in the fridge. But because I'm using it, I'm going to feed it a little bit more. Um, for reference, you can always give it enough flour and water so that you've got one part starter, one part flour, one part water, but you don't want to go over that. So you can give it less um, or you can give it, you know, up to that one to one to one ratio. But if you give it more than that, it's gonna run the risk of, of overload and your starter might become um, more like a, a baby starter again. Because I'm using my starter a lot right now, I'm giving it um, a bit more flour. So I find this keeps it good and active but still manageable, and I don't end up with so much starter that I have to be dumping any. So I, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll see that I don't discard um, my starter. I know some people will save up their discards and use them for one big thing like waffles or pancakes or whatever, and some people will discard daily, some people dump their discard, some people use the discard for something else. And um, those are all good options if that works for you. But a lot of times I'm too busy to do use one of the options that the discard could go to. I'm going to let this sit on the counter until it's done about half of its growing. And then I'm going to tuck it back in the fridge. All right, and here's the starter that I fed. Oh, it's been about two hours now. Uh, it had been out of, out of the fridge last night, sitting on the counter um, until just before uh, six, and now it's almost eight. I fed it, and it's looking really happy uh, because I've already taken some from this and uh, and I'm baking with it separately. Um, I'm not going to use this today, but this is at a point where I could use it if I wanted to. So, you can see how it's rounded on the top. It's not small and deflated that nice good bubble structure yeah nice good bubble structure in there and we'll compare it to a uh, less active starter that I fed last night have not yet fed this morning um, and it has all collapsed bubbles so you can see the difference these are open um, they're not bulging up whereas these are you know, the bubbles are big but they're not all open. 